The Nissan Navara D40 pickup does not fit the definition of a workhorse, but it is popular among hunters, tourists and other outdoor enthusiasts who carry jet skis, snowmobiles and other equipment on it. It is all the more interesting to find out how problematic this car is in operation. Unlike competitors, Navara looks more solid and, so to speak, rich. This is the merit of its close relationship with the midsize Nissan Pathfinder SUV, with which the pickup truck has a common, up to the middle pillars, front part of the body. For the European market, the car was assembled in Spain, where it was sold in two versions. The first, with a one and a half cab King Cab, has double hinged doors, while the rear ones are much narrower than the main ones. The second row seats are only for children. The second option, double cab, is endowed with a full size five seater cabin but at the expense of a reduction in the cargo platform. It was in this version that Ukrainian dealers sold the pickup truck. Nissan put a 2.5-liter turbo diesel, 174 horsepower, on the Navara, which is combined with a 6-speed manual or 5-band automatic transmission. Transmission, type part-time. It is controlled by a rotary knob on the center console. Under normal conditions, the car's rear-wheel drive, mode 2H. In position 4H, the front gearbox is rigidly connected. If you drown the handle and turn it to the right, the demultiplier will turn on. In addition, by pressing the corresponding key, you can lock the rear cross-axle differential. On the front, the Navara is a copy of the Pathfinder. The interiors of a pickup truck and an SUV are also almost the same. The quality of finishing materials is not the highest, which does not spoil the overall pleasant impression of the interior. Free front and back. Armchairs can be folded, reclined and even moved in the longitudinal direction. The cargo compartment is equipped with a cargo securing system. Special roof rails are provided along the floor and sides, in the grooves of which brackets with locks move. Deserves respect and equipment. The basic version of the Z already includes front airbags, air conditioning, ABS with brake force distribution systems along the EBD axles and brake assist emergency braking assistance. The SE variant includes six airbags, dual zone climate control, full power accessories, heated front seats and side mirrors, alloy wheels, leather trimmed steering wheel and gear lever, central locking, trip computer and fog lights. The La version includes a multifunctional steering wheel, light and rain sensor, tinted windows, cab roof rails, 17 inch alloy wheels. The turbo diesel proved to be the best. Unless after 80,000 kilometers the injection nozzles start tapping. Flushing usually helps. Otherwise, they have to be changed. Moreover, the nozzles have an identification number and, after installation, are registered in the onboard computer. In the transmission, by 80,000 km, the cross piece of the rear of the drive shaft wears out. In the rear axle, the bearings of the axle shafts quickly break, which are replaced as an assembly with the axle shafts. In the suspension, to 100,000 km of run, the wheel bearings of the rear wheels fail. They change assembled with the hub and ABS sensors. At a specialized service, bearings can be changed separately. The Navarro was equipped with a 2.5-liter turbo diesel, 174 horsepower, with a common rail system, an intercooler and variable turbine geometry. He proved to be very reliable. After 80,000 kilometers there is a risk of failure of the injection nozzles. In the rear axle, the bearings of the axle shafts break quite quickly. They are expensive and change complete with axle shafts. More than 70,000 to 80,000 kilometers do not withstand the crosses of the rear of the propeller shaft, as well as the crosses of the steering cardan. The outboard bearing lasts up to 100,000 kilometers. Gearboxes prove to be the best side. Mechanics has practically no defects, but some owners changed the clutch after 100,000 kilometers. The machine is reliable and will last a long time with timely oil updates every 60,000 kilometers. The front suspension on a pickup truck is independent, spring. The weak element in it can be recognized as ball bearings, which are one with the lever. Their service life depends on the driving style. The rear suspension of the Navara has a rigid bridge on durable semi-elliptical springs, so there is nothing to break here. If the pickup truck is not overloaded, interventions in the suspension will be required only after 100,000 km of run.